right, everybody, we have our honored guest. This is Mr. Craig Sermon from Generac Power. Craig, I've been hyping you up quite a bit on the stream here. Um, and I've told every, I've, I've made it clear on the audience. Now, you know me, you know West Haven a lot. We, we go way back. We're kind of, we're both uh, veterans in this solar game. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I made it clear uh, to the whole audience. And let me just put up a little power cell page. I was about to go on a whole rant uh, about power cell. All good stuff because we're actually big fans of this product. But, you know, one of the things I made clear and I think people appreciate about our stream and Twitch, of course, is like this isn't an infomercial there. We're just like, no, this is real information, raw feedback. And, and you know, from West Haven's perspective and in our history, like we're, we're as real as it gets. <laughs> right. And <laughs> and there's nothing different about our show. Um, so I just wanted to preface that. And I want to thank you for for coming on. Um, you know, and I wanted to introduce you, uh, to, to everybody tuning in and I'm, I'm excited about this because, well, we're going to get into a lot of stuff and I promise the audience, like we're going to come through every single detail of power cell together. I've actually got a job site where a power cell is getting commissioned as we speak. It's going really good. Um, my only concern is the data connection. It's a little bit remote. We did a ground mount with a power cell six and it's a little bit in the cuts so hopefully he can pull in with the cell phone and we'll kind of do a little walk through of the system. It's going great. We've done, you know, dozens of these power cells now and they work flawlessly. But I promised the audience we'd come through and this would become the most relevant piece of power cell content till date. Because I think for the first time in the solar industry, in the, in the solar plus storage industry, you have an integrator with a, a top level manufacturer together on stream with a live install happening and we're we're just talking the real talk about it how do you feel about all this first no it's a, it's definitely awesome it's great that you guys are utilizing a different platform to give information to homeowners and, and people that are looking to go storage and and, and solar I, i'm super excited man i like like you mentioned i've worked with you guys in the past uh through different manufacturers and been in the same industry in the same market as you guys and you guys were always kind of the leader. You guys were always the innovator looking at different solutions. And so super excited to be partnered with, with West Haven uh, and, and, and deliver Generac. I mean, they've been around you know, for 60 years uh, and have two and a half million sites in North America alone that rely on Generac uh, to keep the lights on when everything else fails. So what a great partnership to have such a great installer, such a reliable forward thinking installer, and of course, uh, Generac, who's been around forever, um, yeah. but some new exciting tech that, that hopefully we'll chat about today. Well, that's what I was telling the audience too, man, you know, and, and thank you for, for saying that. It's really, really cool of you. And uh, I was mentioning about that about Generac, you know, like actually, you know, for a, for a company, you know, Steve, it's, it's in the chat somewhere. If you scroll through, I'm like, they're a titan in the game. I always call myself a titan in the game, but of course, that's what I'm going to say about myself. Um, but Generac, I mean, these guys are like tit titans of titans right? Like 60 years in the game. And what I love about them is, um, you know, their product, like how many hundreds of thousands of lives has it actually saved, right? Like we'll never know, but it's got to be in the hundreds of thousands because they're providing power. And again, you know, one of the premises of this show is, is to underscore that electricity and power, like that is the diff, that's what differentiates us from the stone age, you know? So, in extreme weather conditions, abnormalities, and, and right now what's becoming kind of a, a normal grid fallacy where this thing's failing everywhere. Um, we're actually fortunate as Americans that we have companies like Generac holding it down, innovating, researching, developing, and then staying on the cutting edge, uh, bringing products that actually are going to meet the demands of, of the power future. I mean, this is real talk. I, that's you know, it's not a commercial. That's real. So yeah, thanks for coming on, man. Thanks for being a part of Generac and we're stoked on the partnership. And, uh, I was just getting into some of the details, but before we do, man, I'd love to hear from you kind of like, um, you know, what, what got you over to Generac, what kind of lights up your day, what gets you excited and, uh, and we'll kind of go from there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I've been in the industry now for, for seven years. You know, I, I started off kitchen table sales, right? And so really focused on, on helping homeowners go green and save money. And 
and and storage has played such a big part of our industry over the past couple of years. I mean, you know that better than anybody else. I mean, three four years ago when we were talking batteries to a customer, it didn't make you know return on investment sense. The, you know, PG&E, some of our utilities here that are local in Northern California were fairly reliable. We didn't have too many issues. Um, a lot has changed though. A lot has changed mm-hmm. in the past couple of years where reliability is a very big piece uh, of the pie to, to make sure you're comfortable in your home. Uh, and I think for me, coming over to Generac was 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 a fantastic opportunity. I mean, with with the fire events going on, PSPS events, with things that are happening with net metering and how utilities are utilizing batteries to help mitigate some demand. Uh, batteries are the future of our grid. And so to be with a company like Generac that's had the the level of experience uh, on, on, on backup power and then acquiring Pika and acquiring Nurio and acquiring all these really exciting storage and software companies. It was a no brainer for me. It was a no brainer for me to, to invest into Generac and, and become, become part of the team and, and help this thing grow. You know, nice. I think in the next three years, batteries, you know, I, I would be surprised if 50% of the installs have batteries in California, which historically speaking, maybe it's only 10 or 20% over the past couple of years. Um, so it's a massive driver. And so I just, I want to be, uh, strapped to the rocket ship and, 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 and be in tune with the latest technology, right? Be able to talk with you guys and talk with homeowners and, and be able to give them the peace of mind that if the utility shuts down for a week, that you can still live your life. You can still work. You can yep. still keep your, your food and your fridge good. It's um, true. Super important. So it it's exciting, man. What a, what an exciting product to sell, you know, and that's kind of what gets me, gets me going. But, uh, it is. It's super cool. And, you know, I like to I like everything you said there. And I love to uh, kick off, you know, the, the deeper meaning kind of behind what we do. Um, I always I've been showing this on stream just to to give people an orientation of, um, you know, what we're up against out here. And, and I know, you know, we've known each other for a long time and we're, we're in the same region here. So we know all about the Paradise Fire and what occurred. And uh, it's I always I always try to show it and I, I only show it well basically every show just to underscore that there's a bigger purpose behind what we do and there's a bigger meaning behind you know what we're talking about here and I like to make sure people understand that like this is not an infomercial you know at all we're getting yeah. into real subjects real talk and and Generac, yeah, I'm going to be saying a lot of awesome things about Generac, but I don't say these things lightly. I will just as quickly say all the, you know, if I don't like something, I'm going to be just as honest about it. Um, but honestly, from our perspective, our experience of what we've had with this product thus far, it's been awesome. It's It's been absolutely great. And we've been super happy with it. And it one of the reasons we're very happy about it is, because we have events like this, which happened in Paradise, which is not too far away from us. This is a town 35 miles away. Long story short, uh, it was a summer day. Winds were kicking up. It was a dry summer, you know, California day. Uh, power lines are blowing back and forth. Transformers are sparking. Burned this whole town down uh, within about three hours. Killed over 80 people. And... Uh, <laughs> I mean, it was just a devastation, you know, of, of a massive proportion. And it really, for us here, you know, we were doing solar um, and storage, uh, you know, when this happened, obviously. But when this, when this event occurred, you know, we didn't have uh, these, we didn't have Generac at that time. You know, we didn't have these solutions. And it really underscored the need for, for what we call grid liberation. The, the need to actually get away from this utility grid. And the reason that I can actually say good things about Generac and encourage Generac um, to, to keep moving, keep going strong, is because they're, they're actually leading the way with a reliable, a reliable solution. And I won't even call it an alternative because I refer to what we do as the primary now. You know, the utility is going to be our alternative. But they're coming out with products that actually will prevent things like Paradise Fire from happening. And we've already installed a number of power cell systems on rebuilt rebuilt homes in Paradise, as well as Generac's uh, generators. So before we get into like all the weeds of, you know, what this product is, what it does, what it can do, I did want to make that point to everybody that's watching because we got people that are tuning in live now. 
But then also this goes out to all the folks that are considering, you know, options when it comes to, to solar and storage. And I want them to know who's who, what's what, and that this is a seriously awesome product that actually, you know, puts a dent in the utility grip and actually helps out the future of the society, which is threatened as we speak. There's a threat as we speak of this thing igniting uh, more wildfires. We, we, we're slated to have maybe the craziest wildfire season of all time in California, too. No one's talking about that. We're just, it's horrible. We're just coming out of a pandemic. People are freaked out with, you know, economies, you name it. Well, we got wildfires coming too. <laughs> we got to watch out for this stuff. So in any event, you know, Craig, let's, let's get into a, a little bit about the power cell product. You know, um, I've got a few different slides, which I think we can, you know, kind of scroll through um, and then I'll ultimately kind of pull up a spec sheet and we can, you know, kind of comb over that, you know, this thing's a heavy hitter. Th this thing's a real heavy hitter. And uh, let, let's just start with what we see now. We've got basically, you know, two, two major components comprise the, the power cell solution. Yeah, right here we got uh, what we'd have on the side of the house or inside of a garage, whatever would be the best uh, place to install the battery cabinet. Um, uh, here on the, on the small end, you guys will see the uh, solar inverter, uh, and then you have the battery cabinet. That's a great picture right there. Yep. Um, what's really great is, and, and you, you kind of touched on this earlier, is the reliability of the product. So with Generac, we are all using uh, pretty much one manufacturer. So everything from power electronics on the rooftop, other than the panels themselves and the, and the hardware, the racking to bolt it on the roof, everything is Generac. And so it's all one language, it's all one software and firmware. And so it makes it very easy to install, it makes it very easy as well to upgrade in the future. So what you're looking at is a, a, our, our, our single phase inverter, our residential inverter. Uh, then you have a battery cabinet. Now, this is probably one of the, the key things that differentiates, I guess, Generac power cell versus competition is you're not just putting on one big thick battery, that, that's a battery cabinet. Now you slide in battery modules to make up what you need inside the home. Yeah. So if you I had, you know, a small home with lights, internet, TV, then you could just go with a three battery install. So you'd slide in those little batteries that you see in the bottom left of the slide. You'd slide those into the cabinet, um, you know, lower your cost structure since lithium is the most uh, expensive piece uh, of this equipment. So you can lower that and make sure you have enough backup and then, Hey, Six months down the road, there's a power outage, something happens, then by all means, you could go out and upgrade, right? You can call uh, Brett and his team, Steve and, and his team over at West Haven, go in and slide and add more battery modules. So it's a very flexible unit. Uh, it's something that customers can upgrade later down the road because, again, three years ago, me and you weren't really talking too much about storage, right? We were talking about solar. We were was, talking about how to make a better ROI. Um, honestly, that's totally Craig, changed. Honestly, totally changed. I want to agree with you, but I've been talking about it forever. I've actually been talking about it for like eight years. You know, we st yeah. I, I st we started this company like 10 years ago. And within like the first four years, I already knew, you know, I saw the problems with solar going on is that no one knew how to install it because it's easier to sell than it was to train how to do the work. And coming from the trades, I knew that was a problem. And sure enough, that was the, the, the failing point for so many solar companies. Um, that they you know they didn't know how to teach people how to install this stuff primarily because the people that were running those companies didn't know how to install it themselves let alone so you gotta you know learn how to scale up your sales scale up your operations and scale up your knowledge so over five years ago we began our programs to actually create a legion of electricians so that when it came to storage which is a more advanced installation than just solar panels that we would actually have a, a legion of craftspeople to deploy the work and and to do it well. So uh, I just wanted to I wanted to make that point. But you know everything you're saying is correct when it comes to, and I, I was actually I don't know if you heard the first ten minutes of the stream I was ranting about this one feature that I don't think people really get. You know is that these battery the home battery systems right now it's not like they're all double A's. Right. It's not like you can go get a Duracell or Energizer or Rayovac and they're all the same size, same weight, whatever. One's a little cheaper than this. You know, it's not like that with home batteries. Most of them weigh 250 pounds. You get these bricks. 
they work they're great okay but this is so well thought out and especially for us when it comes to what you just said we get phone calls you know oh this one you know actually we've yet to have an error which is kind of cool we've yet to have a trouble call on a power cell unit which is awesome and which i that's what i also got got to say about generac is you guys take your time to figure this stuff out before you just go rush roll something out and hopefully it works you know and we're very grateful for that um but this was very very well thought out from the servicing aspect and when we when we actually think out like how's it how's the future going to play out where you know every home is going to have solar plus storage and so what that's going to create is a, a service landscape where, you know, massive amounts of service is going to be required. So to be able to send, you know, one guy with a new cell or a replacement cell, I mean, it is a battery. Now, the lifetime of these refresh, I believe it's 10 years, Craig, the lifetime of these cells. So the warranty is 10 years, right? Okay. So the warranty is a, a 10 year warranty, but as long as you're taking care of the batteries, as long as they're not installed in a super hot climate or mm -hmm. reverse that, you know, in a, a super cold climate, you know, as long as we're taking care of the batteries, by all means, these batteries can last 20, 25 years. Um, it all depends on how you use it. Similar to your cell phone, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if you take care of it and you, and you set it up correctly, you can get a lot of life out of these, but you're taking care of that 10 years. It's a full product warranty. So if anything happens, you have that peace of mind that Generac is going to back your system and, and make it right. Right. Okay, good. Good point. Want to make sure we're getting the, the facts of the system. 10-year warranty and batteries generally uh, are, are rated in cycles as well. How many times you drain them down and fill them back up. Refresh my I memory. I could pull a spec sheet up. I don't want to hold you on the spot. There's a lot of specs to batteries. Yep. These are 10,000. I believe these are 10,000 cycle. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, it's a little different with Generac. So okay. you're right in the sense that normally it's a 10 year or battery cycle. Got uh, it. The challenge with battery cycles, there's no industry standard that says, you know, a battery cycle is, you know, this, this discharge rate, there's meaning not. that you could have a battery cycle that could be, you know, discharging 20% of the battery and that counts as a cycle, or you could have a battery cycle. That means you drain the battery a hundred percent. Um, with Genrac, we don't have that. It, we, we try to keep it simple for customers. What mm -hmm. we have is, is kind of like when you buy a car, where it's 10 years or 100,000 miles, whatever comes first. Um, with Genrac, you have a 10-year battery warranty or energy throughput. So it's that, it's that mileage rating. So depending on how many batteries you have, I think most of our customers will hit that 10-year ceiling. I don't think they'll ever hit the mileage, the battery mileage we call energy throughput. Um, but the great part is, is the homeowner and the installer can look on their, their phone, on their PowerView app, and you can see exactly what the energy throughput is. So, and you know, that's seven brilliant. years from now. You okay. Can see. I just want to say too, that that's, you're the only company doing that. Yeah. That's the only Correct. company doing that. What he just said is important. You know, I, this, this show, I cover a lot of topics. I, I try not to get too, too techy because I can easily do that with my, you know, power mechanical background. Um, but there's a few points, you know, because homeowners are entering the place of owning their own power. And I encourage homeowners to get familiar with a few of these terms. And it's kind of like, you know, when we were born, when we were, you know, maybe, you know, in, in your elementary school, you didn't learn about stock market or investments. You learned about that when you, when, when you get older, right? Well, I believe power is something that everyone's gonna have to get a little bit more familiar with and get to know. Fortunately, it's a lot easier to understand than the stock market or, or investment portfolios or anything like that. But what you just said, so I'm always talking about kilowatt hours, you know, and how it's measured. And what you just said is a very, very important point around batteries is that these warranties, uh, they have to be known. So again, you get the year on them. So 10 year, great, that's awesome. Um, that's actually a very high standard to, that's a very long life for a, for a battery. So to, to actually come out here, we're going to give you a 10 year ceiling on this. That's, that's a big offering from a battery, but the cycle is important because like you said, you can measure a cycle of just, you know, oop, we dipped it down 20%. Then we filled it back up. That's one cycle. You guys are actually raising the bar by saying, we're going to give an amount of kilowatt hours that this battery discharges and that's that's something that homeowners should know is is 
Um, that's going above and beyond, actually. And that's 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 right now. You guys are the only ones doing that. Simplifying the process. It's making it easy to understand. I mean, can you imagine if you went to a car dealership and you bought a car and they told you, hey, Brad, it's it's 10 years or a thousand trips. Well, is a thousand trips the safe way to the grocery store or is mm -hmm. it down to L.A.? And that's the challenge is these battery manufacturers come out with these battery cycles. And for the normal homeowner, I don't know what that means. A lot of installers don't either. So it's simplifying. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. Generac came in at being a generator company coming into clean energy. And, and they sat back and they, you know, they kind of thought about how to approach the market, what's being done right now, and how can we make it easier, right, for you guys as an installer and, and as a homeowner. Yeah, it's definitely. Huge, I think it's huge positive for sure. No, it, it is. And we're, we're here to, you know, get the clear facts out there. I mean, people are very interested. Um, like I said, we've been in the solar game a long time. So it used to be, you know, kind of like what, what you said at the beginning, you know, maybe 10% of people were inquiring about batteries with, you know, some of them going ahead and, and acquiring a battery. Then it turned into like, oh, about 30% of homeowners are asking us about storage solutions to now literally every single person we're consulting with uh, is asking about storage solutions and, and what to do. And uh, there's many people that don't know anything about batteries. I actually have a big battery background. I've been doing off-grid solar systems for well over a decade now. So batteries are like, you know, I nerd out on batteries quite a bit. Um, it's an unfortunate thing, but it actually has been beneficial now that we're entering into a storage heavy, uh, you know, society. But, uh, you know, I want to get these facts out about batteries and, and what they do and some of their ratings and what's important. And I, I basically, for the, for the home energy storage systems for homeowners, I focus around three super important ratings that, you know, I wanted to kind of discuss with you. Uh, about the power cell one of course is okay how much storage does it possess right let's talk about that for a second with with power cell so <clears throat> we have one of these enclosures i'll just kind of move my slide to show uh one of these enclosures. here we go here's kind of the here's the ticket with the new outdoor cabinet i was stoked you guys had the outdoor cabinet that was super cool but what what can fit in one of these enclosures? What what do we got storage wise, uh, Craig, in, in one of these enclosures? Yeah, so you got like I mentioned, you have some flexibility. So if the budget's tight or you have a small house or only want to back up what are essential to your family, maybe lights, internet, TV, then you can put, you know, a bare minimum of three battery modules. Um, the, the battery modules are 3 kWh usable energy. So you'd be looking at the small end of 9 kWh usable. Um, all the way up to a full cabinet, which is six battery modules that sits around 18 kWh. So almost double than, than what you'd have with some of the competition there. Um, but again, it's flexible. You can even add on a second battery cabinet to your inverter. So you can go anywhere from 9 to 36 kWh of, of stored energy. So that's a lot of power, you know. That's so <laughs> that that's be able to back up back yeah. up your house for quite a while. Okay, so that's, that's one thing I wanted to make sure everybody understood. So one... Each one of these cabinets here holds a minimum of three cells, three battery cells, but can hold up to six. So you can start off with three and then you can add four, five, six. You could start off with four. You could start off with six, whatever, but you have the flexibility on this cabinet. And then we have this, this device here, the, the inverter, and this is called the power core, correct? Correct. The, that's the power core. Now the power core can actually, you can, ins this is what's kind of mind blowing about the product. This is what, I mean, I told everybody at the beginning, you know, when Generac acquired this technology, it had a lot of, there's a lot of buzz in the industry because it really pointed to um, what we were all thinking at the time. And that was, you know, they acquired Pika and we were all thinking at the time, Pika has got something on their hands here. You know, they, they've got a solution that's pretty, you know, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty well thought out. And then when Generac went and acquired them, it's like, oh, man, you know, okay, we were right. <laughs> we got validated because uh, this thing works. And one of the features about this thing is this this power core here. This How many of these cabinets can connect to this power core? Yeah, so uh, two battery cabinets per power core. Um, so at a peak of 11,000 watts, you can run out of the inverter with those two battery cabinets and again, up to 36 kWh of storage. So 
quite a quite a bit Huge. there. A lot of room for flexibility. Okay, so that's what I like homeowners to know is when you're getting into this solar and storage game, now it's all about the platform. It's no longer about just getting your solar and your inverter hooked up and tying into a breaker in your panel. It's really about what's your what's your energy platform? What's your utility what's your utility platform? That's why I like this system is because it is a platform with a tremendous amount of of, of scalability and expandability um it, this is actually the most expandable system on the market because it can expand in in very small increments or very large increments with just you know three kilowatt hour packs just getting popped in and they're easy to put in that's that's what's really nice there's not a whole Massive procedure. We're literally taking two screws off the panel, popping the cell in, putting the screws back on. We're good to go. So homeowners need, need to know this stuff. So the amount of storage is, is very, very important. So we can have on one power core uh, a minimum of nine kilowatt hours. We can scale it all the way up to 36 kilowatt hours of storage. Right? Correct. Yep. Okay. So that's huge. I mean, 36 kilowatt hours is an absolute massive amount of energy storage, which is totally awesome. So homeowners, one thing you got to know, how much storage are you getting? The next two ratings, you named one of them. These are the other, the other super, uh, to, to keep it simple, to get it into like, kind of like automobile speak, you know, automobile speak. We're like, Hey, you know, um, how many miles per gallon, uh, you know, or how many gallons in the tank? We, we get to know these very basic things as automobile owners, right? So when it comes to the home storage, there's three ratings that I recommend homeowners, you know, understand and can discuss over, right? One is how much storage. The other two ratings have to deal with how much energy flow is achievable. How much can you flow out of the battery at one given time? And so... There's two ratings we have to know. There's what's called continuous power and then peak power. And Generac, the, this is what really makes this, these ratings here really separate uh, the men from the boys, if you speak, or so to speak. So tell me about the power cell ratings, uh, Craig, and what do we got on continuous? What do we got on peak? Yeah, that's killer. I'm glad you brought it up. I think this is probably the most important piece of knowledge that homeowners mm -hmm. and installers have to keep in the top of their mind. Often I always hear, oh, I got a 10 kW uh, uh, H battery that I got quoted yesterday. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the fuel tank, right? And and what's great about Generac is since it is DC coupled, it is partnered with the power core inverter. Throughout the day, you're using PV power. The only time you're ever really going to use storage as is mostly at night or if for whatever reason it's it's you know, cloudy or, or solar production is lower than what the house is using, then of course the battery kicks on. But the most important thing here is the continuous and peak power. And so I'm glad you brought it up. I think those those numbers often get forgotten at, at the kitchen table or as I'm sitting here trying to make a decision on what battery to go with. And by far, they're the most important. So uh, for continuous power, if we wanted to go for a full cabinet, because again, it all depends on how many batteries you have inside that cabinet. Mm -hmm. But if you were to go with our, our standard, which is a full 18 kW battery, uh, you would be looking at around 9,000 watts continuous. So that's 9,000 watts that you could pull at any given time you know, at a constant run rate of 9,000 watts. You can power up the home. And the great part is, is then you can really peak up. You can you can actually spike up to 50 amps. So you can back up up to a three ton AC unit. You can run an electric water heater. You can run a well pump. So some of those larger 240 volt loads or, or what I like to say, large plug loads, um, you're able to turn those loads on. You're able to back up maybe some of the more important things, you know, especially yep. in, in, in Yuba City, up in Chico, in, in Paradise where the fires took place. There's There's homes out there that depend on well pumps. And if you Absolutely. don't have a well pump, you don't have water. And so having that peak of 50 amps helps us back up maybe some more essential loads that others wouldn't be able to. And so that 9,000 watts is huge. Um, that, that 50 amps is, is big as well. So really important to take in consideration. It is. And I'll just, you know, again, like talking in wattage and, you know, it's like watch a homeowner's eyes glaze over real quick on that, except for the women. They all know what this stuff is. 
<laughs> You'd be surprised. The ladies are so smart these days. They've always got this stuff right. They've held me on my heels forever on some of these uh, calls when I'm consulting. Like they know their stuff. They've done their research and they know what they're talking about. Um, so, you know, 9,000 watts in all honesty, uh, there's only a, there's very few moments where a house is actually pulling 9,000 watts at a given time. Uh, and so the, the storage ability of this unit is especially when it comes to the backup capability. So the grid goes down, you know, now you're on backup power. I mean, this thing can keep you whole, uh, this thing can keep you very whole and you have also, uh, the smart energy management modules, which help keep you whole. So it helps to control your energy usage so you don't ever go out of the ratings and then, you know, trip a breaker and lose your power. So, and that's, that's, you know, really a trait of Generac is they're, they're familiar for, you know, decades of, of running a very successful, uh, I mean, they have the leading market share for a reason. Um, and oh, hey, what's up, Fantasy Cheese? Sorry, I got to say hi to the chat too. We got members that come in and say hello. Uh, Fantasy Cheese, one of our fans, one of our subscribers. So welcome. Um, but, you know, Generac has the background in maintaining home power, right? I mean, that was, I, we've, we've put in literally hundreds of Generac home generators. And that's always, it's a cool thing. You, you know, you finish the install and you get with the homeowner and you're, you know, kind of walking them through the system and you're like, okay, go turn on, you know, go turn on the lights in your house, go shut your breaker off and let's watch what happens. And, you know, boom, power goes out. And then a few seconds later, it all kicks back on and I'll just like, oh yeah, it's great. Oh God, this is so good. So Generac really knows what they're doing when it comes to, you know, providing uninterrupted power. And they know too, from running generators, which have a different um, performance curve, if you will, than, than the power cell. However, it's still, they're very familiar with controlling loads to maintain consistent, reliable power. And so when they, they're able to translate that over to the, the power cell product, like flawlessly. Um, and they have done that. Like we're used to it on the generators and you can see that same intelligence and reliability, you know, they transferred it right over to the power cell product. So these things are beasts. And, um, on that note, Craig, and we've got a lot more details to talk about this. Cause like I promised everyone that was going to tune in, um, that I was going to make this the most comprehensive piece of content on PowerCell that exists currently. I promised everyone that I think we're doing it. Um, but just to get it really, really serious, I've got our, one of our crown Eagle foremen, uh, on the job right now. I'm going to go to the be right back screen, Craig, you and I'll still be able to conversate and everyone will be able to hear us. I like to keep it all live. Um, I'm going to pull Jason into the call. We'll go. I hope he's got a good data connection. No promises on this because we visited this job site last week. We had a special guest on and uh, oh, the data was kind of tough. We were a little pixelated. So let's see what we got and let's see if you can watch. This is a power cell uh, project. It's a ground mount uh, 8K dub solar system and a full power cell six. So uh, let's let's see if we can pull him in. Then we'll, we'll get into some more hot and heavy details about this. You ready? This is killer. Yeah, okay. live install. Yeah, awesome. live install. Here we go. Let's let's get him in here. 